good morning i am exhausted preston has surgery um in like two hours so i got zero sleep last night um neither of my kids have ever had surgery so i just was up having anxiety and worrying which i knew was probably gonna happen um so preston has to get his tonsils and his adenoids out this morning um it is 6 20 right now we have to check in at 7 10 so i need to go wake him up um, and his surgery starts at 8 10. um i debated if i was going to record the process but i know how common it is for kids to get their tonsils out and i just want moms and kids to have that resource of like knowing what to expect because I reached out on Instagram asking moms like what to expect, how their kids did. Um, so it's good to have that information out there because I have no idea um, how he's gonna do, how he's gonna be coming out of anesthesia, um, the downtime. So, um, so yeah, so he could not eat anything past 11 o'clock last night. Um, so I let him pick out whatever he wanted for dinner. He wanted mac and cheese and a cookie. <laughs> So we did mac and cheese and a cookie and um, he can't have anything to eat this morning. He can only have a few sips of water. Um, so I'm gonna get ready to wake him up and I'm gonna put some comfy clothes on him, give him some water. Um, he actually is not nervous at all. I've been keeping it together and telling him it's gonna be easy and um, he's gonna be asleep and not know what's going on and that when he wakes up, he's just gonna have a sore throat and um i got him lots of pedialyte popsicles and pedialyte and gatorade um and i told him that once the doctor says it's okay he can have lots of ice cream um because they did tell me they don't want you to have dairy for a few days so um, i'll show you guys what i picked up at target so i got these pedialyte freezer pops because I know it is important for them to stay hydrated. Um, so I recommend these. They give these out at my pediatrician office. Um, and the kids love them. The nurse that called me for the pre-op also mentioned they don't want him drinking anything um, that's red. Because they want to make sure um, that he's not throwing up blood. Um, so I did get him Gatorade. And I got him just clear Gatorade. Um, so he has that. And... I got him Pedialyte, which is in the back, um, just like this yellow Pedialyte. Um, so I did stock him up on lots of liquids. And when he feels better, I did get a bunch of, he really likes these, um, these little Stonyfield Organic Kids yogurts that he can just drink. Um, so I do have lots of liquids for him. And I hope that he's not in a lot of pain. I'm really nervous about that. But I'm gonna go wake him up now. Are we here for your yeah. surgery, Bubba? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. You feeling good? What's G do? Goes to the ground level. That's You're gonna do great, right? And then what do you get afterwards? I'm a popsicle. Yes, baby. Like that one. Going down. Um, that one's the bell. All right, let's go to the right. You got that on? Yeah. Do I put this on too? If you want to. Mm -hmm. No. You ready, Bubba? You're going to do awesome, huh? I'm so proud of you. What do they have on your little robe? Cats and dogs? <laughs> Is that silly? No. Do you love me? I love daddy and mommy. You do? Do you love me? Yes. I love you so much. You doing good? Yeah. Did they put some little stickers on you? I bet they're like stickers. Can you sit up straight for me for a minute? I just want to take a listen to your lungs. Take a big breath in and out for me. I don't know. 
So because of the weather, the doctor um, is running way behind. I guess he was supposed to start a case before Preston, but he just got here. So um, we are, bless you. <laughs> we are just hanging out. They just checked his heart um, and blood pressure and they told him they're gonna um, come in and bring something for him to just sniff and then it's gonna make him sleepy. You gonna sniff it up your nosey? <laughs> It'll make you tired. Yeah, he'll do great. You know why? Because you're big and muscular. Let me see your muscles. Ah. Let me see your muscles. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I want you to sit up straight for me for a minute. Sit up. So on the count of three, I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to squirt this in your nose and I want you to go like this. And breathe it in. Okay? Alright, you ready? Ready? One, two, three. Did you breathe that? Take a big breath. Okay. All right. So we'll take a few minutes. Well, that was easy. Did that feel weird? Did you feel it in the back of your throat? Mm-hmm. Okay. So or is it going to make you tired? Mm-hmm. Tired. The medicine's making you real sleepy, huh? Uh, first surgery. First surgery. Yeah, for last time I had anything to eat, you to drink. I ate 30 last night, I think. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see Thank you. Mm -hmm. What did Daddy bring you? Did he bring you some Legos? Keep you occupied while Bubby has the surgery? Yeah. Huh? Taking him back. They're taking him back? What did the nurse bring you? Did she bring you animal? animal crackers? Animal crackers. And what else? What is this? Uh, juice. What kind? Apple. Apple. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. We probably shouldn't shout though. Are you working with daddy? Are you doing some emails? Preston's surgery actually went a lot quicker than I expected. <laughs> what are you doing? Kenzie's just been running around and eating crackers and keeping my mind occupied, but one of the nurses just came out and grabbed us and brought us into a room because I think Preston is almost done. You did so good, I'm so proud of you. The doctor said that you did awesome. Do you need help eating your popsicle? Do you want me to push it up a little bit? We just got home, they gave Preston some medication before we left to just really help him um, feel more comfortable. He wasn't complaining that he wasn't complaining that his throat hurt, but he was saying his hand hurt from the IV. Um, so they gave him medicine, and he definitely has been very, very emotional. Um, I think just a mixture of like the anesthesia and then surgery and everything. So he has been like crying a lot. Um, but yeah, he hasn't said his throat hurts. He is coughing a lot. Um, it actually sounds like he has croup. If your kids have ever had croup and have that like, um, kind of like dry barking cough, that's what he has. They said that's completely normal and it'll go away after a few hours. Um, but besides that, they told me to give him Tylenol and Motrin and um, go back and forth every three hours between the two. Um, and then they also said to put some ice in an ice um, pack and put it like on his throat. That'll help him feel better um, and to get a humidifier. So Nate is going to stop at Target and get a humidifier. And then I also had him stop because they said for Preston to like suck on um, some really tiny ice chips. So we got him Sonic's ice, which I think is the best. And it's really, really tiny. Um, but yeah, the second we got home, 
he passed out so he is sleeping right here on the couch next to me so yeah this sonic ice is the best they're crushed ice how are you feeling baby good you feeling good eating your popsicle and watching your movie yeah this one's about um halloween garfield halloween garfield you didn't want to watch the grinch no. Could I have another one after this? Absolutely. Yeah. You want to take a nap? No. I thought you'd be sleeping. Instead, your sissy's sleeping under here. <laughs> here, baby. So Preston got home and he actually like started falling asleep a little bit and then and all of a sudden got like a burst of energy and wanted to play and do all these things so I could tell the medicine like got into his system um, but I kept telling him that he needs to just relax he just had surgery um, and then he started crying and he was like when can I play I want to go play and he was saying he was hungry but they want me to just do liquids right now um, they said tonight I can start incorporating a little bit of soft foods like applesauce just to see how he does um, so he's just strictly been having um, the crushed ice from Sonic um, and some pea like popsicles and been drinking water um, so yeah he started feeling pretty good um, and was asking if I would color with him and so I sat down and just did some coloring with him and then a little bit ago because he's not due um, until 4 30 and it's 4 05 so soon he's due for Tylenol um, so I can tell the medicines like starting to wear off because he started saying his throat hurts and then he went and laid down so I think he's sleeping right now but I do need to wake him up and give him another dose of medication Last night was really rough. Um, Preston kept waking up and he was having like a croupy, barky cough all night. And then when he would breathe, it sounded like he was kind of like, not really gasping for air, but like when you have croup and it was kind of like a rattly, like barky, like breathing. Um, I was really concerned last night. I gave him some medicine to just make him feel a little bit more comfortable and he did fall asleep um and so this morning i called children's hospital and they listened to him over the phone like listened to his breathing and they said to take him into the doctor's office or take him to um urgent care or children's hospital right away so i called kaiser first um and they're able to get him in in an hour so I'm getting ready to get dressed and I'm gonna head over to the doctor's office um, and they're gonna take a look at him. The nurse I talked to at ENT didn't think it had anything to do with the tonsils. She said maybe he was starting to get um, like croup or something beforehand, but I don't think so. He didn't have any cold signs or anything. Um, so I think it has to do with like the anesthesia and getting his tonsils and adenoids removed. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take him there. She said if it gets worse over the next hour, just to rush him to Children's Hospital um, or the regular hospital. So um, I'm just keeping an eye on him. He just passed out right now. He's really tired since he was up all night last night. Um, While well, he was off and on up all night last night. Um, so yeah, this definitely is not going as I thought. I just assumed he would start feeling better today. Um, and when he woke up yesterday from anesthesia, and had like the croupy cough they were like oh that's normal it's just from like anesthesia and getting his tonsils removed it'll go away in a few hours and it has not gone away in a few hours last night was rough preston was up on and off all last night with this like barky croupy cough and then when he would breathe it had like that kind of croupy like breathing like rattly sound um so i gave him some medicine in the middle of the night that did calm him down I could tell he started feeling better so he finally fell asleep but this morning he's still like when he breathes i can just like hear the like rattling sound um which really concerned me so i called children's hospital this morning 
and the nurse listened to him over the phone and she was like he needs to be seen she was like call your doctor which we have kaiser and she said see if you can be seen this morning if not she's like take him immediately to children's hospital so i talked to the nurse at kaiser um and they're able to get him seen this morning we're going to leave here in an hour so i'm going to get dressed um but they're going to check him out and she said if anything gets worse i need to rush him over to the hospital immediately i'm just really concerned about his breathing i just didn't expect any of this with getting your tonsils and adenoids removed um and they didn't tell me anything about this like as like a side effect or something to worry about um when he did wake up from anesthesia yesterday he was like kind of croupy like his cough and they said that that's normal that i'll go away in a few hours and it has not gone away um but the breathing aspect just really worries me he actually just fell asleep right now he's really tired since he didn't get very um good sleep last night so i'm gonna hurry and get dressed while he's sleeping and then um, try to carry him to the car, which might be hard since I'm pregnant with twins um, and he's like 50 pounds. So I might just have to wake him up because um, Nate's at a meeting. Um, so yeah, I'm just like really concerned and didn't expect any of this. But I obviously want you guys to know what to expect in case your kids have to go through this. So um, we'll see what the doctor says. We just got to the doctor. Um, the nurse just checked us in doctor's office. Um, so we're just waiting to be seen. We're not seeing his normal doctor. I don't think we've seen this one before. Um, but we'll see what he says with Preston and his breathing um, and see if we have to go to children. How are you feeling, Bubba? You feeling okay? He already had his tonsils out. Again. Again? He already got them out yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What's that color? Which color? Green. Yeah. What other colors are over there? Yellow. Good job. This Gatorade disgusting because I did some medicine. What I medicine guess? did they give you? What did it taste like? Chocolate because they put chocolate in it. Really? Is there any chocolate on my tongue? A little bit. <sighs> okay, what did the nurse and the doctor say you need to do today? Drink the whole thing of Gatorade or water. Or, or yeah, drink. you got to drink all that and or some more. Or a popsicle. More. Yeah. I want a popsicle when we get home. Okay. And, and something to eat when we get home. So after the doctors gave Preston the steroid um it actually helped a lot it um, got a lot of the swelling and inflammation down he wasn't coughing um like the barky sound anymore and the um kind of wheezing like heavy breathing um also stopped so the steroid definitely helped he started feeling better after just a couple of hours after having the steroid um and then last night he woke up in the middle of the night crying so i did have to give him some medication in the middle of the night but today he feels so much better um i am a little worried because everyone keeps telling me that usually like day five to seven is the worst and that's what the nurses said as well because i guess um there's like scabbing that happens over where the tonsils came out and if the scabbing falls off or when it falls off it really irritates the throat so i am very nervous about um a few days from now um but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update and kind of bring you along on the journey because I know a lot of kids and adults have to get their tonsils and adenoids removed, but I will keep you all updated in a few days in my vlogs just so you know how Preston is doing. I am going to end this video here. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. See you on the next time I post a video. See you next time. Bye.